Hey guys, so here's my movie review for Extremely Wicked, Shockingly Evil, and Vile. So this movie literally came up on Netflix tonight. Um, now I want to backtrack a bit because uh, I personally have seen the full, um, it's called Ted Bundy Confession Tapes. It's actually a series of, um, uh, you know, of um, uh, it's just like a mini series on Netflix. And it, it kind of, it really, really dives into the really, really the backstory um, of, you know, what happened to Ted Bundy, how they found him, um, you know, just a really, I found it, I found it a really, really wholesome, uh, it's kind of like a documentary kind of thing. Um, anyway, so this movie is, this is like a movie that's based on the documentary. Um, Something I want to say up front. Um, so this has uh, Lily Collins in it. She's kind of the main actor. Um, it's kind of based around her and the relationship she had with with Ted Bundy. And Ted Bundy is, is acted by Zac Efron. Um, Haley Joel Osment is in it, who plays the eventual love interest of Lily Collins's character. And um, John Mal uh, Malkovich, uh, which I love him so much. I think he's just a absolute gold, gold, gold actor. He's absolutely brilliant. And um, uh, Jim Parsons in this as well. So the only thing, oh, this is a good movie. It's a good movie, don't get me wrong. It is a good movie, but I just have to say, the only, there's a few things that I kind of thought that they were going to go more into considering this was an MA15 plus movie. Um, I really thought, and I kind of don't know why the film, the, you know, the, the, the director didn't go this way is, um, I, th I thought that they were going to dive into this movie m with more, um, showing what happened like more more of a graphical but that's really not where they went at the right 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 at the end of the movie you see literally a, a scene with somebody being like a woman um you know being struck and that's that's literally the extent and extreme of you know of of one of the killings um, another thing that the documentary slash series shows that the movie didn't, uh, which I was a little bit annoyed at because I was like, well, that not this the whole reason that you're doing a movie in the first place? Um, the movie shows, um, uh, sorry, the movie doesn't show, um, Ted Bundy's confession to, I think it's his lawyer. I think it is someone he confessed right at the end. Just before he, just before they killed him, he fully confessed to everything, and um, they were like, "Oh, there's like forty murders," and he's like, "Yeah, it's probably more than that." It's like, what the, like, and then at the end of this um, this movie on Netflix, um, it literally shows literally the names of everyone that they found that that he supposedly murdered. Um, so Ted Bundy, if you if you don't know the backstory of Ted Bundy, he was a serial killer back in the, I think it was maybe the seventies. I I should have. Should have taken more notice of that. My bad, um, but but I find it I find it incredibly fascinating because one of the core uh, core core things that that everyone everyone kept saying um, is he was just he was a nice guy. He was attractive, nice guy. He was just a gentleman. He was just. You know, they just didn't see this this coming from him. I just remembered something that they they showed this in the movie, but I was again I was kind of annoyed because it actually it was wrong. So when Ted Bundy was found the second time, I think it was, he really wanted to escape. And he, I mean, he really wanted to escape, and so he lost a ton of weight. Now I get, I, I understand that it would have been really hard for Zac Efron to like lose all this weight, you know, and then put it back on for the rest of the film. I, I, I totally understand that. Um, but the whole that, um, if you haven't, if you've seen the documentary slash series, um, they show it very differently in the movie, but apparently the hole in the jail cell roof that Ted Bundy escaped through, apparently he lost a ton of weight to be able to even fit through there. Whereas the movies, 
you know, the way they did it in the movie, in in uh, in uh, extremely wicked, shockingly evil and vile, they uh, he carved a really big hole, it was like a pretty decent sized hole in the roof to you know be able to fit through. And I was like, I get it, I get it, I get it. You know, I understand where you know he would have had to lost a ton of weight to you know gain it back on to do the rest of the film. Um, but yeah, I just thought that was completely inaccurate because yeah he did make himself sick he just lost a ridiculous amount of weight um yeah to be able to go as far as he did um uh this movie was not what i was personally expecting it to be it wasn't i was really expecting them to sort of more of a more of a thriller yeah more of a thriller than anything i was kind of hoping that the that they would sort of, you'd see the reenactment of, you know, what he did to these people, but I guess it was so extreme that they wanted to, um, they didn't want to go there, because as Zac Efron has been saying in all his, you know, you know promoting this movie, um, that he didn't want to um, glamorise Ted Bundy at all, and as if you would, that's just silly. Um, other than that, guys... Um, I think that's all I want to say about this film. If not, bugger. <laughs> but um, thank you so much for watching this. Please smash that thumbs like, thumbs up button. I really, really appreciate that. Just so I know that you guys appreciate my views and stuff like that. Um, my, you know, my movie reviews. And um, yeah, check it out. It's on Netflix now. It's not going anywhere for a long time now, so it's on Netflix. I would personally, and this is just my personal opinion, I would go back and watch the series and then watch the movie. But that's just my opinion, and both of them are on Netflix. So, until next time, thanks guys.